Hello everyone, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Real Russia Channel, the deepest insight into the real Russian life with a no fake and no bullshit. My name is Sergey Baklikov, behind or now in front of the camera, Artur Baklikov, show yourself, man. So, right now we are in the historical city center of Ufa and continue the series of episodes about traveling the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. About Ufa for foreigners, for the most of you guys who are watching real Russia, but outside of Russia. And this is the videos about what can you expect in Ufa if you will decide to visit our city. We already have been inside of the airport, hotel, cafe, square, and now we came here to Vladimir Lenin Street 26 to the office of Megafon, one of top three mobile operators in Russia that to find out if you can buy a Russian local SIM card that to have a pretty reasonable, pretty cheap phone calls and of course a high speed internet 3G, 4G so now let's get inside here and we'll try to find it out Come on, this is the deepest inside. So, getting inside of one of the offices of Megafon, let me to remind you that this is uh, one of top leaders of the mobile operators in Russia. Well, here you can buy uh, 3G smartphones, 4G smartphones, tablet, PC, uh, pads. You can pay for your mobile to add the money on your mobile balance through this terminal of course without any fees and of course to register to buy a sim card by megaphone and right now i'm going to ask this lady uh, to help to help us to get to know more about the plans that they have for uh, foreigners uh, hello hello you know, uh, I want to know if the foreigners, not the people of Ufa, not the people of Russia, but the foreigners who will come here can buy, can buy the Russian SIM card. It's very easy. You should just bring your passport or some other documents, for example, diplomatic passport, driving license or certificate of permanent asylum in the Russian Federation. And you can get a SIM card at any office of megaphone operator. Well, it seems like it's easy because, you know, passports, definitely every tourist will have a passport because once uh, uh, they will get here, of course, they have uh, at least this minimum of documents. But what about their registration? Is it uh, required to have uh, an official registration? No need in official re registration. You should just name the hotel and the address of it. So, just enough to say uh, the address of hotel or address of an apartment uh, that you rent or where you just stayed and that's it? Yes. Okay. And uh, what about the plan? What's uh, the most reasonable plan for the foreigners can be here in a megaphone? Uh, we have analyzed and the most reasonable plan is a prepaid plan all-inclusive S. Having subscribed to this plan, you get 350 minutes of outgoing calls within the territory of Pashkartistan. SMS messages is also included into the plan. You receive 100 SMS messages. Also, you can get the internet. Uh, noted that in Pashkartistan, internet works in LTE and tuned networks. Uh, the internet which is included into the plan is uh, 3 GB. This internet is works on uh, 900 MHz and 1800 MHz frequency. Having subscribed to this plan, you should pay 150 rubles. That is uh, about three dollars according to the course in our banks. Uh, after 60 days of subscription, uh, six and fifty rubles are reduc reducted from your account. That is something about ten cents. Well, actually, uh, most of people will need less than uh, 16 days because uh, usually uh, the vacation takes 10, maybe 15 days. And, you know, I really find this pretty reasonable. As you said, it's even less than uh, $3. And for less than $3, you're getting all-inclusive as plan. Uh, 350 minutes of uh, outgoing calls on the territory of Bashkortostan. This is 100 SMS messages and 3 
gigabytes of internet. I think that it's more than enough if uh, even if you will every day will use Instagram, Facebook, uh, uh, messengers like WhatsApp, like Viber, and even if you will from time to time watch the videos. Uh, also, I have to notice that actually 3G, 4G, LTE, it's a pretty fast, it's a pretty fast internet, which is going to be really comfortable. Well, uh, and I can say that uh, this plan, at least uh, pretty reasonable uh, for having it as a second SIM card or a second phone, but uh, what if... Uh, some of the tourists will also will want to use it as the main SIM cards and to make uh, calls uh, to their country at home. If you want to call to your own country, you should uh, add the additional option, which is called call to the other countries. You should pay 100 rubles, that is about two dollars, and the calls will be cheaper. I really don't know uh, what the plan you will have uh, when you will come here because you know you all are from different countries uh, different regions will have different plans different mobile operators but once you will be in roaming believe me i don't think that you will have uh, a cheaper calls than you will have through these cards when you will be here and will use russian sim cards on the territory of russia so this is a really pretty reasonable now uh, what about the sim card itself it seems like it's universal, universal, one. universal. so uh, it's a big, bigger one is for something like an old school phones, which now we will already consider as an old school, uh, then micro, micro SIM cards for uh, uh, the modern smartphones and Nana, right, yes. which is, uh, which is the smallest, right, okay, so universal, universal SIM cards, uh, and you know what about the payments as far as I can see here so you can use as cash in Russian rubles of course as uh, just to use your bank card no matter what currency it is in so MasterCard Visa Visa Electron you will not have any problem to pay with this here in a megaphone office so I, I've got what I wanted to know Every foreigner can come to Megaphone in the city of Ufa to every office, right? Yes. And to get the SIM card. There is something about 40 and 4 offices in Ufa. Yes, 44 offices. Uh, you will not have any problem to find it, especially in the uh, center of the city of Ufa. They are everywhere here and uh, the design is pretty recognizable. It's uh, a green color with a uh, white letters megaphone so welcome to megaphone and to buy a sim card here when you will come to ufa and uh, just all over all russia well uh, thanks a lot for answering the questions uh, really everything is understandable everything is reasonable and i think that uh, people will enjoy this plan from megaphone uh, have a nice day okay. and you guys have a nice time as well keep watching real russia don't forget to comment like and subscribe and welcome to ufa welcome to the republic of bashkortostan welcome to russia my name is sergey baklikov behind the camera artur baklikov see you